The Turkish government has just placed a half a million dollar bounty for the capture of NBA player and American Turkish human rights activist Enes Kanter Freedom. While he was leaving a basketball camp in Vatican City, the FBI called Enes and told him to get back to the US ASAP because Turkey had placed him on a most wanted terrorists list along with this bounty. Now Enes is definitely no terrorist. In fact, I've interviewed him and he's literally the nicest guy but the Turkish regime is threatened by him because he's a very vocal critic of them. Ennis uses his platform to highlight the repression and human rights abuse committed by governments all over the world and has worked with Congress to help release political prisoners abroad. And this kind of work has not been without its risks. The Turkish government revoked his passport and accused his family members of being terrorists. In fact, the regime arrested and detained his father in Turkey for five days to try and silence him. And it's been 10 years since Ennis has seen his family. He says his criticism of the Chinese government and its human rights abuses also cost him his NBA career. I wanna underscore how messed up this is, not just because Turkey's threatening and targeting an activist and silencing him, but because they're doing it in the United States. Ennis lives here. He works here. He's a US citizen. For a regime to feel so confident that it has no problem encouraging people to hunt an American down on US soil means that maybe we need to think hard about how we treat Turkey's government. Like maybe the Biden administration should think twice about selling F-16 fighter jets to a government that represses its people, undermines international law, and goes against NATO interests. Luckily, Senator Menendez flew off the handle when he heard this, so he has vowed to prevent this arms sale from happening. For all these reasons, Turkey's regime and its dictator Erdogan are on my list this week.